Big Rock, go now. Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have the Ginger Snatch, and we have this beer. Weyerbacher. Weyerbacher Imperial Pumpkin Ale. You gonna zoom in on that? Or? A lot of season, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I guess you should. Hold on. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. 8% alcohol. Hold on. Oh, wait, there's a pumpkin. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. All right. Because it's a pumpkin, I'm gonna use the orange BB butterfly. Orange is my favorite color, and I love pumpkins. When so, was that bottled? Good choice. Doesn't matter. I think it matters. <laughs> it's an imperial. It'll be fine. When was it bottled? Why are you being so suspicious about it? Well, because a pumpkin ale is usually like an October seasonal. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's fine. I love pumpkin. Pumpkin everything! Only February. Yes. It doesn't matter. Hopefully it's good because I was drinking last night and I'm still not feeling that spectacular. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so. Looks great. Looks like your average pumpkin beer. Very carbonated. Um, carbonated, un unfiltered. And orange. And albino hair on my cup. No, oh, probably. <laughs> Looks Ow. really nice. Smell. Yeah. Oh god. Sounds good. <laughs> oh man, I want to try too. <laughs> it does a little bit a scent of a rotten banana peel a little bit, but. Well, I'm getting I'm getting nutmeg. It's I'm getting cinnamon. I'm getting cloves. It says there's cardamom in it. I can't smell it. Um, not smelling the pumpkin, but it's kind of smelling like a pumpkin pie, just not the sweetest pumpkin pie out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, bitch! <laughs> Remember Let's that the uh, red-headed step-nothing wants some, too. Ooh. Let's try it. Yay. It does smell very nice. I'll drink it. I'll drink a little um, bit later. That's awesome. Very, ooh, a lot of very metallic-y. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Very metallic -y. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That sounds good. It's good, but that aftertaste is uh The cinnamon's there, the nutmeg's there, the pumpkin is there. Um it actually tastes like there's some cumin in there too. Um is it coming? Yes. It came in. Um the cardamom I can taste as well. I'm not a big fan of it in here. Um Usually I'm worried that they're going to overclove something. It doesn't taste like it's overcloved, but just the combination of everything together. Combination oh. of everything together makes it a little weird on the back end. Yeah. But other than that, it's 8% alcohol. You would not be able to tell it's 8% alcohol. No, not at all. It's a very good tasting beer. Uh, wow. It's just the very, very final bit that disappoints mm -hmm. me in this. Other than that, the smell is amazing. The look is amazing. Taste up until the last yeah. few seconds is really, really good. It's so metallic -y. Yeah, that's oh. right at the end. You're getting that that weird flavor. And you know what? A lot of pumpkin ales though have that aftertaste. The ones that I've had, anyway. It's all the copper in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just um, say what I think you want to say. <laughs> no, it's it's very good. It's just the very finish of it that I don't like. Um, A lot of pumpkin ales are like though. I found anyway. It was. Uh, it was in the two to three dollar range at Premier Gourmet. Eight percent alcohol at two to three dollars. I actually don't really have a problem with that. Yeah. Uh, I'll give it a seven two five. I like pumpkin ales a lot, so it's kind of uh, it is kind of biased. Most people might not like it as much as I did, but yeah, I would buy it again. I just wouldn't go out of my way to find it. I would rather pick up Southern Tier or Saint Ambrose or even the Black Creek Pumpkin before I went out for this one again. I agree. I totally, I love pumpkin everything, especially pumpkin ales, and I would buy it, but I also probably wouldn't go out of my way to buy it, um, but it's, you can't taste the 8% at all. This would be good just to powerhouse a couple of these back and deal with that shitty aftertaste. <laughs> I would, I love back. pumpkin, and it, you know what, most pumpkin ales have that taste, and a lot of them smell like vomit. Honestly, a lot of pumpkin ale smell like vomit, but this one doesn't. It's got a very nice smell and taste to it, minus the aftertaste. So. Alrighty, well, cheers. Oh, I didn't even give it... Um, I'll give it a seven. A Weyerbacher Imperial Pumpkin. Drink it! Do it! Do it! 
do it. <laughs> so the collective faces between the two. Oh, oh. Pumpkin beers aren't really a chugging beer. No, 